those who claim to be your ministers. Yeah. So be with us today. Yes. It's in your son's precious name that we pray. Amen. 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 Right, Let's go to First Thessalonians 1 5. Mm. Mm. <coughs> <Wow>. <coughs> <coughs> It's interesting, you know, I was, I was asking the Lord uh, just about Jesus, the, the awesome things that he did in Jesus, through Jesus, because Jesus was who he is, or Jesus is who he is, rather, mm -hmm. forgive me. And he said this, 1 Thessalonians 1, 5, for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance, as ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. Mm. Not in word only, mm. but also in power and in the Holy Ghost. Joy in the Holy Ghost. Because oftentimes, we struggle because we bifurcate, separate Jesus from the spirit that empowered Jesus to do what God sent him to do. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's incorrect. Mm -hmm. So I, since I have two weeks, I'll take the, the full time to flesh out. Yeah, I, I'm used to rushing. But it's, it's a privilege to be able to take my time with this because we, it needs to sink in the how of what it is that we're called to do. Amen. Not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost. Let's go to Zechariah 4 real quick. Zechariah 4. We have to establish something. Hmm. Zechariah 4. Thank you, Lord. Have to establish something. Two verses I'm going to have left in, uh, one in, in Zechariah 4, that directly correlates to a verse in chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse 8, chapter 4, verse 6. Chapter 3, verse 8 speaks of the coming of the servant, the branch, mm -hmm. the Messiah, mm -hmm. Jesus. Four and six tells us how this is accomplished. And that's where we're going to key in. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith, the Lord of hosts. Amen. By my spirit saith the Lord of hosts. Go to Luke, the book of Luke, chapter 4. Amen. <coughs> Starting at verse 17. We have to understand Christ Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Word come in the flesh, the how, the how, Amen. the how, and I, I'm going to emphasize that, the how is God's Spirit, Amen. the how is God's Spirit, the how is the Holy Ghost, the power is the Holy Ghost, Amen. hear me, hear me, because it, it connects everything that has already been said. Uh, this afternoon. Verse 17. And there was delivered unto him Jesus the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. 
And that's what I meant to you today. What enabled the apostles to be filled with the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, so quickly was the fact that they didn't have a word as we have. They spent three years living, moving, and having their being in Jesus. <clears throat> the living word. That's an emphasis that we've lost, that we need to recapture. The living word. The living word. That's what enabled them to, re to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, and then we'll get to Scripture, but the technicality of it, forgive me, Lord, for using that word, but the technicality of it is Jesus came to give us new hearts. Mm -hmm. But the only way that Jesus could do that is by grace. We know from earlier lessons that grace is the power of Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ is word and spirit. Mm -hmm. That's the emphasis that we have to recapture. Grace is word and spirit. Mm -hmm. Knowing that this word is not the image. It signifies.